Alex Michael May. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, especially since we've done something other than a vlog or like a quick haul. And I'm just challenging myself to have fun with getting ready this holiday season. And I think part of the celebration is celebrating yourself, getting all dressed up, wearing sparkly things you wouldn't normally wear, feeling good about yourself, trying things outside your comfort zone with your hair and your makeup and your recipes and all of it. So I thought it'd be fun today to just go through three pretty easy, I think, like beginner holiday hairstyles that have been go-tos for me over the years. I've been doing these for literally years. So, oh, I thought that something was melting, but it's, it's not. I turned on my curling iron and I just was worried that it was too close to one of my hair clips. So, Anyway, uh, yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you are a returning BFF and if you're new, I'm glad to have you here. I hope you decide to stick around and hang out with us. Um, my channel is kind of about living your best life exactly where you are right now and loving yourself in the journey of becoming the person that you dream of. So I think that that actually starts with how we present ourselves to the world. So today we're gonna go over just three of my favorite holiday hairstyles. Um, my hair is straight. I just uh, blow dried it, like I showered this morning and just blow dried it. My natural state is quite straight, as you can see. Um, I'm trying to grow it out, I am engaged. Oh, I'm not wearing my ring. Don't tell my guy, he gets really sad when I forget. It's in the bathroom in a tray. I took it off because sometimes like my hair will get caught when I'm like doing it, so anyway. I took a shower and uh, blow dried my hair this morning and it is very straight. So if you have naturally curly hair, you can still totally do these styles. It actually might be easier or turn out better for you. And if you have wavy hair, same thing. Uh, I'm focusing on medium length, as I was saying, cause I've been growing my hair out uh, for my wedding. It was like shorter before. And so I'm trying to grow it out as healthy and long as I can. So far, so good. I've been using uh, Vegamore. This is not sponsored, um, but I've been using that. If you guys want me to talk about my experience with that, I can let you know, but my hairstylist has been blown away about how quick my hair has been growing like actually over the past year and I've used a few different things but I think the real truth of it is like giving yourself really good scalp massages and stimulating like blood flow to the scalp um, in addition to being really careful about the hair that you do have and managing the integrity of that so without further ado the first thing we're going to do here is curl our hair and if you already have naturally curly hair you can skip this step um, but I just thought I would start from completely scratch since I'm actually doing my hair anyway and one of the other things I'm doing to protect the integrity of my hair since it is blonde and it's a little more sensitive is just being really careful about the heat products that I use. So I try not to blow dry it or use heat styling on it more than a few times a week. Um, when I, I usually let it partially air dry, I use one of those like hair little turbans that keep your hair like a microfiber towel, I guess. I have a different, a few different ones, but that take all the moisture out before I do anything. And then I let it air dry for a bit. Then I'll blow dry it, let it air dry a little more and then kind of just finish it just so it doesn't dry wonky. But other than that, I try to like limit the heat. And then for curling, I've switched my hot tools to GHD. Um, again, this is not sponsored. I do work with them in other capacities, but this video is not just so you know. Um, but I've been, I've owned GHDs for years. I remember I bought my first like 10 years ago or something crazy. It was the first expensive flat iron I ever bought. And I remember I like saved up and put it on layaway and got it and I had it for literally almost 10 years. It worked perfectly still. It just was heavier. And now they have like more curved plates on the side and I decided to upgrade it, but they are quality hair tools. Anyway, so this one, uh, this is a GHD Curve, the soft curl iron. Um, this is a 1.25 inch. I actually am going to order a one inch because I'm used to using one inch on my hair. And since, since it kind of ends up falling anyway a little bit, I like to start with that curl a little tighter since my hair doesn't hold a curl very well. If your hair does hold a curl really well, the 1.25 inch should be fine for you. Um, but I like it because it only heats to 365 degrees, so it won't damage your hair. Whereas some of the other ones, they have different dials, which is cool in theory, but I find that I've actually damaged my hair having the, having the heat up too high. So this is the optimum heat. They're like, have done a ton of research. So I'm just trying to like protect my hair. And so this is one of the ways I'm doing that as well. So I'm just gonna go in. Um, first of all, I love these hair clips from Amazon. I always train my bangs because I've got calyx here. So if I want my bangs to stay down, I have to like, from the moment they're wet, really like pin them down. And so that's what these are. If you're wondering, I can link these on my Amazon storefront, but I love these. I use these constantly. They're like crease free little clips. Um, but I'm gonna take this down and I'm actually just going to curl my hair like I normally do. Okay, that was intense. Do you guys ever get just like, oh my gosh, like something took over and I could not talk. 
Okay, anyway, we're fine now. Don't worry. I did a little gargle. So, um, just gonna curl my hair. If you guys want a video of the way that I curl my hair, there are another other videos that I can link to, but I also have them on my TikTok, my Instagram, just because I figured out a method of curling that I really like. Um, so I just start with uh, a hair here close to my face and I twirl it up like this and then I undo it and pull it and go up a little more like this and then I undo it and let it go. And it creates kind of like more of a thin curl that doesn't look super impressive when it's first done. But I find that it actually gives me those beautiful waves that I love. So I'll do another one and just show you that again. Um, but to save time, I will just curl my hair and then meet you back here to do the first style. So I twirl up like this, undo it, twirl up again. This one got messed up because, well, this is like not actually a very good mirror if I'm honest. And then it creates like a rope kind of wave curl. And then once they're brushed out, they look so beautiful, I promise. And then I always do my um, bangs last, um, but I'm just gonna get going on this so that we can save time and get right to the good stuff. All right, and now my hair is all curled. This is what it should look like. It's giving a little bit of wet dog, which is totally actually what I'm going for. Um, as you can see, like when I brush it out, it'll look just perfect. So the first style I love to do, and this is again, just starting with curled hair, is just is so easy. It's just a deep side part with, you can add like little clips or something here, but just like that little va va boom. So I may use a curling iron to help shape the parts here, but essentially I'm just gonna do a deep part and we're going for that like old Hollywood glamour. I've done actually tutorials for that style on this on here before and I've also done them on my Instagram, but like I said, it's one of my favorites. So we're just gonna do it again. So, uh, and I just think it's something so simple that you can do anytime just to look a little bit more polished and glam that nobody knows is the easiest thing ever. It looks like you tried real hard. And I think that's like my life's goal is to make things look like I tried real hard. Hint, hint, I never do. <laughs> Okay, so what you're gonna do is just pick your part and you can do this based on what works for your face shape, what your part, like your hair, whatever. I usually like to do like right where my part kind of dips in. So essentially the tip of my eyebrow here up is where I kind of like to do it. Um, and so I'm just gonna take a rat tail tooth comb. It sounds vicious, <laughs> rat tail. Um, and I'm just gonna do a part here. Your hair might be resistant to going the way that it's parted. It's okay, we're gonna work with it. My hair is a little resistant here because I have like all these little baby hairs and that's totally fine. So you can bring it up to wherever works on your head. And then once I have that part, I like to take like a bristly brush and I haven't brushed my hair out prior to this because I like to keep the curls intact. The longer you let them cool and sit, the better they'll stay, especially if you have fine hair like mine that tends to have trouble holding shape. And then I'm gonna brush up and over and just start to create that swoopy shape. And then I'm gonna brush down here. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this behind. And most of the style is honestly just like a little bit of patience in shaping. It doesn't take too long. It's just a matter of being like a little patient with your hair if it's not wanting to cooperate. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of like hair powder because since I just washed my hair, my hair is like so silky and smooth and I find that it grips a little better if I add either dry shampoo or like a working texturizing spray. I'm gonna use Orbe because it's my favorite. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this into the two areas that I want hold and separation. Adding a little bit at my roots just so I have something to grip and work with especially for this little peaky bit, this little peaky blinders up here. I'm gonna smooth down all the baby hairs, tuck it behind. As you can see, it's starting to form those pretty waves exactly like I promised. And we're just gonna keep zhuzhing this top portion. And if you wanna get even a little more volume, don't be scared, you can back comb this. I'm just gonna wanna go in a C shape and push down until you can't push down anymore. I would go lightly on this, especially if you're trying to like have really healthy hair with my blonde, like it can be dangerous. So I like to, to go lightly on this, but it is a great tool to get your hair to do what you want it to do, especially if it's like fine and you have trouble getting it to kind of cooperate. So as you can see, I've built up this beautiful, like kind of old Hollywood little peaky moment here. And I will spray all these little flyaways. There we go. 
getting some volume. Oh, it's looking good. Um, this is the easy part. I'm just gonna add a couple little pretty hair clips here. You can do one, you can do two, you can do none. I have all kinds of really pretty barrettes. It's just one of my favorite little hair accessories. These are actually from GHD, but I can do a little roundup of some of my favorites and link them below. We go. And then we're gonna use the spray again, just to kind of get this part to obey. Okay, and this is the final look. So one thing I did is I actually pinned my hair with two bobby pins more tightly here so that the clips would be more decorative than hold because a lot of times clips like this aren't. So that's one little tip. And then I just continued to kind of fuss with this. I had blow dried my hair like sleek straight down on both sides. So getting this lift was a little bit more difficult today. Um, this actually, the style is so great for dirty hair. If you just like add some dry shampoo and just kind of zhuzh and mess around with it, I have found that this is a style that I'll go to on like day three or four hair when I don't know what to do with it. So doing it on clean hair actually can be more of a challenge. So that's awesome if you wake up and need to get ready and you don't wanna do your hair, you don't have time to shower or like wash your hair or blow dry it that day, it's a great one. So as you can see, I've really played with this. Um, I sprayed it and then what you want is to kind of get the curls to fall. And this was a bit of a challenge too, cause I have bangs. So if I can do this, anyone can. If you've got like six sticks straight hair with bangs, anyone can do this style. Um, and the last part is I kind of just like to softly brush the curls and it, um, oh, do you see how it creates that just like perfect little Hollywood wave? I've got some little, flyaways here um so have hairspray at the ready um again i just use that texturizing spray but i have hairspray that i was using elsewhere so whatever you need to do to like you know get your edges going or whatever your little baby hairs in check you do that um and then i like to gently brush the curls here okay so that's that sadly we're gonna take this out and we're gonna uh talk about the next one all right, so now I have my hair just back to middle part and my second little favorite holiday is just like a simple little bun updo with some pieces down and you can also do this with like a really pretty hair clip if you wanted. It's an easier way. This is a way that I do my hair when I also don't have time or it's not clean. I'll just throw it up in a clip and then I'll leave these pieces down and just give them like a nice curl or wave. Um, and it's super duper simple, but this is gonna be just like a little fancier version of that because I think a clip can sometimes feel casual even if it's pretty. But if you wanna look really festive in a pinch using a really pretty clip like this, um, these I have some from Anthropology and some from Amazon. I'm gonna link them, the Amazon ones below. They're pretty affordable and there's like a pretty big pack of them. Um, so for this, you're just gonna need a little clear hair band or if you've got really thick hair, you can use um, any kind of elastic that you want. You're just gonna need a few bobby pins, brush, curling iron like the usual, but pretty much that's it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start with uh, pulling out the bang section that we are going to use as our face framing layers. When I'm pulling these, I like to think of like making a triangle from my ear to here of my hair. I usually pull from wherever the top of my ear is, like that creates a line from here. You kind of want to make sure that they're even when you look at them here because they will be shown, I guess. Like, you know, there will be like a part. I'm just going to clip the back of my hair up just for a second while I get these guys out of the way. And just to gather these, I'm going to use these little Amazon clips again that I have. And I'm just gonna like keep them together and keep them separate and out of the way while I do the rest. So now that you have those away, just gonna brush my hair up and put it into a really, really, really high pony. This is why it's important that those bangs kind of have a bit of a pad, like a formation here that they're not all like crazy. Okay, we're just gonna brush this up into a really, really high pony that's gonna sit right on top of our head like this. I'm just using a clear elastic. I got this big bit, bit, <laughs> this big old one. Um, just, I think a Living Proof gave it to me as like a little gift, but you can buy them from Scoonsy, you can buy them at Target, you can buy them anywhere. I just like them because they're no show and I think that they hold well, so. And they're also like non-snag. So once you've got the elastic in, you're just gonna pull it tight. 
And you can totally leave it as a pony if that's your vibe. We're going for a bun today. But if you wanna do a pony, you could curl the bits a little more. If you've got longer hair, this would probably be a little cuter. We're gonna take the ponytail and twirl it around and make a cute little bun. And we're just gonna use bobbies to kind of set it in place. And we're just gonna put the end of it in, push it in until it feels snug. So I've got just the one there. And then I'm gonna use the other two to kind of shape. You can see kind of how it went in here and then you can pull around and play with it. So I've got mine pretty solid with just two, but do as many as you think you need. I'll probably do one more just so it feels nice and secure. Okay, perfect. So I have my little bun and this is exactly kind of how I wanted it to look, just kind of elegant and twirly and high. I've got a bit of like rat tail happening down here because my hair is too short on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with a neutral color bobby pin that's around the color of my hair and just pin that up as high as I can, hoping that that bobby kind of blends in, which I think it will. And now we're gonna make sure that our bangs look perfect and create that little curtain bang moment. Going back in with my GHD curve, I'm going to uh, create the bang. So this is where my bangs, oh my gosh, they are growing out finally. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go from the point where you want them to curve. So if I want the curve to happen here, that's where I'm gonna need to do that twirl. So I'm going to probably, maybe I was gonna try and do it in two sections, but I might need to like judge this little bottom part. But so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna clamp and then we're gonna wanna pull down, straight down to give that curtain bang look and then curve away right at that moment where we want them to split, which is gonna be just above the eyebrow here. So we're gonna clamp, we're gonna pull down, and then right there, we're gonna start to wave up already. And then I like to keep the curling iron moving the whole time just so it doesn't get, and then I'm gonna pull and release this section, and that's what's gonna give us this kind of vibe. So I like to hold down here while it's still a bit uh, warm and kind of zhuzh away that section because this is exactly the look we want that's gonna give us that glam vibe. Let's do the other side. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of brush and feather these the way that I want them. And as you can see, they've really created this little illusion of a curtain bang, which is exactly what I'm going for, is like that kind of like 70s glam. And we got a really good bang due today. They're just behaving and that never happens. Um, yeah, so this is the second do that I think is perfect for a party. I actually think this would be so much cuter with some big earrings. Like this one is really great for like, if you have a statement earring, these are clips obviously, but I'm just kind of showing like that the statement earring is a moment for this style. Okay, I'm so sad to take this down. This is like the best bang do I've had in a very long time. I guess I'll show you guys like the top. It's so easy and it looks so glam and like you tried and it's just the best. Okay, so the next thing, I'm just gonna show a little half up and just, I think it's so fun to play. Let me take my hair down. Let me take my hair down. We're gonna, we're gonna pick up. Luckily these bangs are gonna come in handy when we do the next do, which is also very simple, but I just think it's such a fun, oh, what a good bang day we're having. Blessed be. I thought it'd be so fun to play with a little half up, half down, little fun holiday bow. I wish I had a color that I liked a little more right now, but I have this like gray, which is a pre one. So you've got some choices here. You can take a barrette that you already, like you can get a barrette and add a ribbon, like just hot glue gun, a ribbon on it, which is a nice easy one. Or obviously you can buy, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with this, please hold. Or you can buy like a pre done one like this one. This is Sincerely Jewels Scoonsy collab. And I'm not sure if this particular one's available anymore because I got it a couple years ago. The other one I have is Kristen S who always has cute hair accessories and gosh darn it, I had this bowed and I was like stuck under something and I pulled it and the whole thing came undone. But it's kind of like a little silk scrunchie with this ribbon that you can tie into a bow. And the other option is obviously this is like a ribbon that I got, a friend gave me a beautiful gift um, from Gucci Garden, long story. But anyway, it's like a ribbon that says Gucci Garden, but it's like a little Gucci ribbon. You could use any kind of like pretty ribbon. Like obviously I know like the Chanel, I think makeup counter has like Chanel printed ribbon. Like you could go fancy with it like that. You could use a big, beautiful, like 
crimson red velvet bow like sky's the limit here i'm just showing you what like the easy way to style it like this but obviously good i'm a wreck over here um but there's a million different ways different ribbons and things like that that you can use so anyway i think for today i'm going to either use this one or this one and we'll just see how it goes but the style itself is incredibly simple it's essentially quite similar to what we just did um only it's only going to be a half up so i just like to take again the section i usually work with about the section from my ears forward and i'm going to create a reverse like triangle of hair this way so i'm going to start pulling from my ears all the way up to well, my hair's like a bit catchy because of all of the product i put in it so it's not allowing me to slip my fingers through it so let's brush it a little a note if you are going to curl your hair like if if you haven't curled your hair and you want to do the style it's actually it can be easier to curl it after you put it half up um because it kind of sections it for you and you don't have to be as precious with the pieces that are half up so just a little word to the wise if you were going to curl i'll probably touch up some pieces if i need to thank you mailman we've got our bangs we're gonna go just pull half up and make a little half up like this so as we get the hair half up another reason i like to like leave all the hair back here is because you want the hair that's down to feel really thick so i like to like really kind of just go from the ears and then skim upward because and a lot of this is going to come down into bang as well so you should be left with just like a little section like this you can smooth it out a little but i kind of like to leave it a little bit messy And you're just going to go in again with your little clear elastic and just elastic it. Then once you have it elastic, I like to really pull it tight. Kind of fan it out. Give it a little bit of volume right here. And then like I said, we're having a really good bang day. Then if you've got little face framing layers or bangs, I think that's what makes this look so kind of vintage -y inspired when you have those down. And then we're just gonna add our bow. I think we're gonna get adventurous and try this one. So let me tie it first. Okay, so here is this one. I like that it has the long little ribbons. It's not my favorite coloring for me, but it's what I had on hand to show you this look. But I do think it's cute. I have a white one that I used like a couple summers ago, like right when I first started dating Sparky, I would wear it a lot and I thought it was super cute, but I couldn't find it today. But let's see, it's cute enough. It gives the vibe. I think it gives the vibe the longer your hair is too like the longer you can do the trails of the ribbon which i think is really really cute um i could also like stick this guy in let's just see you also have the choice on this one of doing the half up lower so that you don't see the ribbon at all and it's more of like a low back thing here or seeing a glimpse of it on top i like to see a glimpse of it on top it can be a little kiddish but i think it's like bridget bardo ish and i'm into it um, but let's pull this one out. I'm just gonna clip it because my hair is kind of thick on top. Just kind of show you guys how that one looks. That one's a little bit more holiday. So, anyway, you get the gist, you get the vibe. And like I said, you could always add your own ribbon too and just tie it around and then make a little bow. Ooh, I like the black. Let's do it. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I tried. Um, I think this rib might be a little stiff, and obviously these are way too long, so what you would do is then cut them to however short you wanted, and you could fold them in half and like cut them at an angle and get that little boop boop if you wanted, but just showing all the options, it's obviously up to you to find like the ribbon and the hair thing that you like, but I just thought this was a cute holiday vibe. <laughs> I uh, also wanted to note, if you don't have a ribbon, it's so easy to just wrap your own hair around. You can take it from this half up depending on like basically essentially. So if you can see where it is here, if you, you don't want to like pull from the hair here, if you're pulling it up too far, you'll see like a line. So you can take it from your own section of hair, but you just wrap it around and then put a bobby pin at the base, which is what I did right here. And it's really cute too, to just kind of put your own hair around it if you don't have anything else and it still feels a little festive it feels a little more finished just thought i'd throw that out there and another cute thing to do is if you wanted to get like a really pretty embellished clip i think that it looks like a little bit more effortful when you effortful so stupid a thing when you do it half up so if you wanted to go from this half up you could twist this part 
like from the bottom here, like half it and then twist it. And then you could either do it like this and let these kind of fall around curled. And then that looks really pretty. Or you can half it and let the tendrils point downwards. This, and then you get like a little something here. There's like a lot of different ways you can, you can do it. You can even kind of do that little like mini bun thing that I did before and clamp that. So there's a lot of fun to be had with holiday hair accessories and styles, but I think I'm gonna leave mine like this for now because I think it's cute. I wish I had like a ribbon that went with this look. I would be so excited if I had like a cream, like satin one or something. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We did it. We did a holiday hair video and I'm very proud of us. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with us on Vlogmas. I hope you guys are liking a bit more videos and yeah, let me know if you want more hair or beauty. Um, I did get the chance to go get my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury and they did such a beautiful job. And so my goal is to learn to completely recreate that perfect glowy look, which I've kind of been practicing, but I don't have all the products yet. So this is me practicing with what I use every day and basically the same thing I do every day. Um, but yeah, let me know what other beauty hair hacks, etc. you guys want to see. If you want a video about the things I'm doing to grow my hair out or anything at all, let me know. Comment below. Um, if you're new here, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, stick around if you feel inclined. We'd love to have you. Feel free to head over to Instagram. I'm at Alex Michael May there and on TikTok and I do more short form videos over there. Um, say hi in the DMs. Introduce yourself. I'd love to know you. And if you're a returning BFF, thanks for being here. Thanks Thanks for spending your time with me. I know that we all have a limited time and I really don't take it lightly that you choose to spend time with me when you have free time. So thank you so much for being here and take good care of yourselves. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.